Welcome, my friend. My name is Sargon, curator of mythical and extraordinary antiquities. I have everything your heart could desire and more. For a price, of course. I've never met a merchant so proud of his goods. Your items must be impressive. They're the finest in all the Greek world. I promise you that. Or may you strike me down. I'm always happy to part with some drachmi if the price is right. I'm not interested in drachmi. The only currency I accept is orichalcum. I've never heard of it. Few have, thankfully. It's a precious metal from a time long before our own. It possesses many properties that Sargon finds appealing. What kind of merchant doesn't take drachmi? The kind who is interested in rarer and more valuable forms of payment. Tell me where to find Orichalcum. You can find it all over the Greek world if you know where to look. You can also check the message board for special jobs. Sargon is not the only one to deal in Orichalcum. All right, let's see what you have to offer. Theus. How was Megaris? The wolf is dead. Excellent. The full amount is promised. You expected me to haggle? Come now, Alexios. It isn't every day I have someone kill their own father. But he wasn't your real father, was he? Why did you send me to kill Nikolaus? Because I knew you could. Oh, why him? Because he was brilliant. He would have taken Athens in a month, two at most. And Stentor doesn't have the wolf's genius. Uh, you wanted to save Athens? There's no profit in a quick war. I know, I know. It's a lot to take in all at once. Come. Tell me, Mistyos. Did you learn anything worthwhile in your dealings with a wolf? He mentioned my birth father. He might still be alive. Not for long, if all goes according to plan. What do you mean? You are going to bring me his head, of course. Have you lost your mind? You killed the man who raised you for Drachmi. I merely assumed you wanted your family dead as much as I do. Malaka! You think you can play with me? I'll cut out your tongue! So disappointing. Investigate his house. Oh, 
A letter to Alpinor. Oh, Phoebe. You led him right to me. Alpinor's looking for a woman. I wonder who he wants in his slimy grasp now. This is a ship manifest. Alpinor selling weapons to both Athens and Sparta. He wants this war to go on forever. I have met some treacherous people. None of them compare to Alpinor. I'm going to look under every rock, in every shadow, until I find and kill this vile serpent. Here! Alexios, isn't this remarkable? We're so close to the gods, I can feel Apollo all around me. How did it go with Elpinon? We can talk later in private. Who's this? Just a simple pilgrim. He just saw the oracle. I couldn't help but ask if she's as glorious as they say. Well, is she? She left me with more questions than answers. That's the oracle for you. You weren't lying. It really is the spear of Leonidas. Uh, I may have mentioned you. Well, it's just he seemed interested in legends. Like you. I, I thought you might get along. How did... It... You know my spear just by looking at it? You're more than some simple pilgrim. All things in Delphi are more than they appear. Even I. My name is Herodotus. I'm a storyteller. Or I was. This war is forcing us all to new extremes. 
That much is true. Why are you hiding your identity? I'm here on behalf of a man in Athens. A very powerful man. We intend to finally end this war. You told me you came to ask the Oracle a personal question. War is personal, Barnabas. So, you came to seek the Pythia's guidance on how to end the war? I did. Though something is wrong in Delphi. Guards at every turn, people being turned away. Delphi is nothing like they say. Has it always been like this? No. This was once an open and welcoming place. But war changes things. People seek out the Pythia for more political reasons. Prophecies in times of war often stir violent emotions. It's wise to keep your blades sheathed. Drawing blood in Delphi is considered an insult to Apollo. Punishment is severe. I have my own questions for the Pythia. But this line... I'll be an old man by the time I see her. <laughs> You're joking! You carry more blades than a field of grass! I didn't come here to start trouble. Trouble? Just walk in! Who's going to stop you? The priest? <laughs> All right. But if things get out of hand, I'm blaming you, Varnavas. Is he not every bit as great as I said? I'm here to see the Pythia. Only those chosen by the light of Apollo may enter. How does one get chosen? One goes to the back of the line. Do I look like someone who waits in line? Enter into the light of Apollo, the light that illuminates shadow. Choose your question wisely, mortal, for you have but one. Speak, truth seeker! I lost my mother when I was young. I have to find her. Where is she? It's you! From the visions! The child on the mountain! How could you know that? You need to leave. Now. Leave? Do you have any idea what I've been through to get here? Oh, but I do. While in Kausos, you didn't cower in the face of the priest. A child and her family still live thanks to you. But... how? No one can hide from the light. Please. I've come this far. You must have the answers I seek. Child of the mountain, the cult of Cosmos have eyes everywhere. They will kill you. The cult of Cosmos? The Oracle has spoken. The prophecy is yours. You never answered my question! The Pythia is done for the day. I'm not leaving until I get answers. You're still here. Where's Varnavas? He's gone back to your ship. You don't look happy with your prophecy. She... knew who I was. <laughs> She's the Pythia. It's her business to act like she knows you. That was no act. She said she had visions of me as a child on a mountain. What child hasn't stood on a mountain? I was thrown from that mountain. My life started and ended on that mountain. I'm telling you, she knew who I was, what I'd done. Tried to warn me. Warn you? About what? She mentioned the cult of Cosmos. Does this mean anything to you? 
I'd heard whispers. A cult unlike any other coming to Delphi. But I paid them no mind. The Pythia seemed afraid of way. Took her away? Then the whispers were true. If this cult has corrupted the Pythia... This is devastating news. Do you understand what this means? Through her, the cult controls the world. I need to speak with her when she's not so well protected. That would require a miracle from the gods. She is always protected. You know more about the Pythia than I do. Where would she be? When she's not in the temple of Apollo, she's at her home in the Hora of Delphi. I can't go breaking down every door until I find her. The Oracle's home is probably easy enough to spot. She'd be the only person in the Hora of Delphi who can afford to live in luxury. Where in the Hora of Delphi does the Pythia live? I've heard she lives on the outskirts of the village, but be warned, she will be guarded. Not everyone comes to see the Oracle with the best of intentions. I'll find where the Pythia lives. And I will get answers. Alexios, don't forget. Brute force is useless when finesse is required. Ah, Mistios, well, aren't you a sight to my aged eyes? Young, energetic. Perhaps I should just pay for your body instead of your help. Watch yourself. That's not my line of work. Oh, forgive me. I'm amazed the gods would send me someone so well suited to help me. But who is also so appealing to me physically? I'm glad to hear it. Koregos, my husband, is having some difficulties keeping up with my hunger for pleasure. I imagine any man would. Oh, I have many lovers, but he's my soulmate. When we're together, it's indescribable. Then don't describe it. When we were younger, we would run into the moonlit forest, shed our clothes, and pleasure each other until sunrise. Our howls of ecstasy would echo throughout the valleys. By the gods, woman! I said spare me the details. I wasn't expecting a tough-looking mercenary to be so squeamish about a little fun. What does this have to do with me? I've learned of a powerful elixir, which if consumed will give someone the vigor and stamina of Eros. If you can gather me the ingredients, I can make it for my husband. Oh, 
All right, I'll find the ingredients. If you promise to keep your nocturnal activities to yourself. I have some drachmi, and Koragos has more. If you can bring me some bear scrotum and a deer tongue, I can make the elixir. Oh, is that all you need? Don't worry. I'll reward you well. I'm sure Goragos will be thankful also. Where can I find a bear near here? I heard there's a cave near the sanctuary that a large male bear has claimed. Are there any deer nearby? This is for keys. There's deer all over the place. This elixir sounds odd. Where did you learn about it? Why, the Pythia told me about it. She's so wise solving a problem I didn't even know I'd have. I'll be back with the ingredients soon.